Hey, what is up, guys? We are here with our questions and answers. This video is all, like actually a day late. Uh, it was supposed to happen on Saturday or come out Saturday, but it's happening a little later than I expected. I've been super busy the last couple of days, so let's hop right into this. I'm gonna just answer a few questions and then I'll start searching for a match. So, what was Con Maestro? Of course, with the the amazing questions. What was slash is your major in college? How did you decide? How long did it take you for to decide? And have you changed or considered changing it? So right out of high school, I got accepted into every college I wanted to go to, right? Like all the uh, CSUs and UCs. So if you guys don't know, California has California State Universities, which are CSUs, and then UCs, which is Universities of California. Now UCs are harder to get into. And I got into all the UCs and CSUs I wanted to get into, but because I was unsure of my major, I just decided not to go to any CSU or UC and just go to community college instead because like I, I saved so much money not doing that and I didn't know what major I wanted to do, which is perfect because I already switched my major once, uh, which is part of the question. I started as a computer science major and I wasn't really enjoying it as much as I liked, you know, like I, I, I didn't really want to force myself into CS if I didn't like CS and I know there's a lot of money in it and it's a really like you know, open field. But if I don't enjoy myself, I definitely don't want to do something like that, which I don't recommend for everybody. But I mean, for me, I can't do something that I don't love to do. Right. So I switched my major to communications. Um, and I've been enjoying that so far. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, for now, it's communications. I don't know if it's going to change or not. But that is it for now. And like, I mean, I'm only 20. So I have a long time to really decide what I want to do. Uh, I, I mean, if I'm not done to, with school until like 25, then that doesn't really bother me that much because honestly, like there's no way to know what you want to do when you're 17 and you're coming right out of high school. I mean, some people might know what they want to do, but I definitely didn't. So I don't regret what I did at all. And I think it worked out. Um, okay. So what was your take on juggle heavy combos in Tekken 6 tag and 7 versus just regular combos, basic juggles and timing? Um, so are you asking like, what's my take on juggle combos that are really hard to do? Is, is that what you mean? I'm not sure if I know exactly what you mean, but I don't see a problem with having high execution on combos. If that's what you mean, what's your take on juggle heavy combos and versus just regular juggle combos? Yeah. If you're asking what I think about harder juggles versus easier juggles, uh, I think that, that the game should have like a mix of easy and hard juggles. You know what I mean? I don't think that every character should be super hard or super easy. I think that a nice mix is usually a good way to do things. How do you feel about Virtual Fighter? Even though Virtual Fighter characters are in Dead or Alive, do you think it should come out with its own new one based on the fact that it's more of a standard one-on-one -on -one fighter and not with special moves and gimmick? I think Virtual Fighter is a really fun game to watch. I'm sad that it's not played more and like it kind of has a stereotype of only being played by like old men and it's like a dead game or whatever, but I think it's really interesting to watch. And players who have a Virtual Fighter background tend to be really good. Like I don't know if you guys know this, but Gamer B has like a virtual fighter background. That's like what his background is. And then uh, Fudo, who's an Evo champion in Street Fighter, his background is virtual fighter. Itabashi Zangief's background is virtual fighter. So that's one of those things that like obviously everybody who plays it is very strong. It's a very read based game. Wow, that hit me. I'm just going to jump back and throw the thing. Oh, I got hit. Okay. okay. Yeah, there we go. Is this really... Am I losing a zoning battle to Green Arrow? Can I get it? No, I dropped it. Jump. Oh, I did it too early. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why do some players who use fight sticks look down on players who use controllers? I don't know. I think that's a weird attitude. I've never had that attitude. I think pad is fine. I think hitbox is fine. I think stick is fine. Whatever you want to play on and whatever you find comfortable is what you should play on. That's what I think. Anybody looking down on somebody... It's just looking down to be a jerk, to be honest with you. Because there's no reason to actually look down on somebody who plays on something that you don't play on. So yeah, that, that's my opinion on that. Uh, I can never see grab throwing. Grab slash throws coming. How do I catch them in time or tech them? Okay, a lot of that is prediction, to be honest with you. Because I'm going to fake it. Watch, he's going to jump. It didn't work. Oh, he's dead. Okay. A lot of it is prediction, uh, to be honest. In most games, you can't tech throws on reaction. 
Um, so it, it's about understanding the times that your opponent likes to throw and just being very, very ready. When you're defending, you should be constantly looking out for certain things, right? You should be ready for whatever your opponent does so that if something crazy comes up, you can just be like, all right, there it is. I saw it. Like, I'm reacting. I'm ready. So you should have that adrenaline in you when you play fighting games where, like, whatever happens, whatever comes up, you're ready for it, and you should just be prepared. And, like, honestly, stuff like that just comes with time. Like, you just have to play and play and play and play, and you'll get better at little things like that. If you went on Capcom Pro Talk with Mike Ross, could you body him? Um, all right, he's definitely better at Street Fighter than me, but I guess it depends on how familiar he is with Elena and what character he plays. Because if he plays someone that, like, loses to Elena, probably, because I, I don't think he knows the matchup. Uh, but if he plays, like, Sagat, who's, like, really hard for Elena, then, yeah, he'd probably body me. Uh, Mike's really good. A lot of people don't think that Mike's really good, but he's a very talented player. He doesn't rely on tech or anything like that. He's just naturally strong. What are your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on Smash Bros.? And how the community pretty much blew up ever since EVO 2013. I love Smash. I think the game is very entertaining. It's very fast paced. And I really enjoy it. Do you follow any of the games at all? Yeah, I, f I follow Melee. more. I don't really follow Smash 4 a ton. But I know a little bit about it. I actually bet on Zero this weekend at NCR on accident. Like this guy and I were like we were watching this game. And we're like we don't know shit about this game. But I'll bet you. And I was like the guy in the glasses looks like he's going to win. So I like him. And it turned out to be Zero. Who's like the best Melee 4. Or the best like... Super Smash Bros. 4 player in the world. So, yeah, that was pretty funny. Um, do you agree with Smash having two games at EVO? I mean, it seems to be the most popular game besides, like, Street Fighter. So, how can you really argue it against it? You know what I mean? It, like, if it has the numbers, then it deserves the support. You know, you know what I mean? Oh, I got him. Oh, that's so hard to combo. So, yeah, I mean, like, listen. Other games can complain all they want, but if this game gets the numbers... It's going to get into EVO. That's that's all there is to it. If your game has the numbers, it deserves to be supported. Is there any character you voted for Smash Wii U as DLC in case I played? Nah, Pikachu is my favorite Smash character, so I would play Pikachu if I played the game. Oh my god, that was an autocorrect. I didn't even mean that. How did I fuck that up? That combo was really easy. He's going to jump. He's dead. Yeah, or Pikachu is my favorite character, so I, I would probably play him. Or actually, actually, you know what? I'd probably play Diddy Kong because I'm a tier whore. I'm just going to be honest. Um, yeah, I definitely really like the Smash community in, in general. I think the game is really exciting. It's really entertaining to watch. And I'm glad that it's supported. You know what I mean? Because I'm not somebody who's like an elitist. I literally will watch any fighting game. Like, if you guys don't know, whenever a new fighting game comes out, I do my best to learn about the game. And I watch at least one top eight because... You can learn from any fighting game no matter what it is, right? Like, I'll learn things watching any game that I can carry over to another game that I play. So, yeah, I'll give any game a chance. If I watch a couple top eights and I'm like, you know what? This game really isn't for me, then that's fine. It's, you know, I'm glad that other people enjoy it, but it's just not something that I enjoy, and that's totally okay. What are some of your favorite games outside of fighting games? Any particular ones that you really enjoyed back in the day? When I was a kid, my favorite franchise by far was Metal Gear Solid. I absolutely love the Metal Gear Solid games. Uh, they're some of my favorites. I really like Bioshock, the first one when it came out. I really like Bioshock Infinite. I really like story games, like like single player games. I love the Bethesda games. I love Skyrim and Oblivion and Morrowind, and I love the Fallout series. So yeah, I mean, I have a lot of games like that. I play a lot of games outside of fighters. It's not like I only play fighting games. But I, you guys don't see me playing. Like I play Chivalry a lot. I play Civilization. I'm really broad. I used to play uh, f uh, shooters competitively. If you guys look at my old videos on here, I have a lot of shooting game stuff. So like I have a pretty broad taste in games. And I think you guys uh, don't know about it because I mostly post fighting game stuff, to be honest. Because I'm not sure if you guys would be really interested in games from other genres. So I don't really post them, you know what I mean? If you guys would be interested in those things, I can maybe post more, but... Where's my overhead? Wow! Oh, how did I miss that? I'm gonna teleport. Oh my god, what happened? Why is the lag? Okay. Oh my god, I can't do combos. He's gonna jump. Oh my... That was like the hardest combo I've ever done in my life. I'm so mad. Jesus Christ, this connection. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I mean, I do play a lot of games outside of fighting games. I don't want you guys to think that, like, I literally only play fighting games. 
because that's definitely not the case. I play everything. I just don't really post content of like non-fighting games because I just don't want to think that you guys would like that stuff. I can't do combos. Like literally, I, I this is so hard to play on. Oh come on, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I I can't move. Like I, I can't even do the easy versions of my combos. So like how am I how am I supposed to do this? Alright, he's just gonna jump, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, never mind. That was a bad read. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm I'm dead. Okay. So next question. You mentioned on Twitter that GA was a cool character concept that just didn't have enough to him to be complete. Uh, paraphrasing here, I hope you don't mind. Oh, yeah, I don't, it, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I said. If you had the opportunity to work on that character before Injustice release without having knowledge of the game that you have now, are there any ideas you would like to implement? All right, here's the thing. I think Green Arrow was balanced around the idea of his super, right? I think that was the original plan. Like, he has an unesca inescapable super that you basically can't get out of in some situations, right? And that's, like, their design with the character. I'm not a big fan of character designs like that. I I feel like I would have enjoyed the character much more if he had normal damaging combos, but his zoning still didn't do that much damage. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I I would have liked that version of the character more because I don't like the ver I don't like Maya how she like has like this big like I do 80% damage but everything else I do does lower damage. I don't enjoy that kind of character design. So I would have made him do like 30 to 40% with combos, but still make his zoning not do so much. You know what I mean? Because if he did like high damage and zoning and high damage and combos, he'd be ridiculous. Like the character would be silly. So you have to think about it like that. But yeah, I really think the character is really cool. I think his kit's really neat with the arrows. I just think that the design they had for him wasn't quite what I enjoy in a character. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. All right, can I do combos? Look at the beauty of this connection. Oh, where was my orb? Oh, I put it on the wrong spot. That was supposed to be a close orb, but I think his, his teleport messed it up. Look at this. It's almost like as soon as we get a different connection, I can suddenly do combos. Weird, right? It's almost like I lost the last game and where I couldn't even move at all, and then this game I can suddenly do really well. What's the, I definitely hit a button. I definitely hit a button, but it didn't come out, and I blocked the wrong way because I forgot. So yeah, will you upload Injustice more often? There's not many good YouTubers that I know that play Injustice and still upload. Honestly, I I mean I don't see it happening a lot because I already don't upload this game a ton, right? And this is supposed to be like my farewell to the game because you know. MKX is coming out. Oh, you see that setup? Oh, yeah, I can combo off that. Oh, I was going to do something so sick. I was going to do triple meter burn orb into instant teleport, but it didn't quite work out. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't see myself uploading it a ton, but I'll probably upload it every once in a while. What character from MKX do you think has the biggest potential to be high tier? Who do you want to main? That's not a fair question because I already know who's top tier. I already know like characters who are really, really strong because a lot of my friends tested the game and I've got my hands on it already as you guys probably saw in the other video, right? But as for questions that people don't think is top tier right now, but I think could be top tier, I definitely think Jackie has potential. They found an infinite for her today, by the way, but that's already removed. Like they're removing it today. But I think she has potential to be really strong because she has so much mobility. She has really strong high lows. And, like, a lot of people have just kind of been, like, eh, about her so far, right? There doesn't seem to be a lot of buzz. But, like, I just think the amount of mobility she has and her high-low game and, like, her speed is just so insane. Like, a character that can crawl all over you like that is very, very, very dangerous, right? I think a character like that is super, super scary. Uh, but if as far as who I'm maining so far, Cassie Cage is who I'm maining uh, as of this point. Like, that's the character I enjoy the most. That's the character I've been putting all my time into. Um, but, uh, Jackie on the side for sure is who, is who I've been playing. And that's who I think is potential to be super high tier. Uh, and somebody else apparently said, this is my question as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that more of you guys, uh, have similar questions. That's good. Your favorite fighting game, top 10, and who would you like to see in Injustice 2 and Killer Instinct? Uh, so like my top 10 favorite fighting games, uh, if that's the case, I think it's very hard because I like things about every game. Like it depends. Like if you mean like watching fighting games, 
Uh, it's actually, I really like watching KOF. I don't play the game, but I think it's super, super, super fun to watch KOF, even though I don't play it personally. You know what I mean? So I think that's really fun. But if you mean like playing, I love to play Injustice offline. I love playing this game. I think it's super, super fun to play offline. And I think that uh, Killer Instinct super fun to play in tournament. I think Street Fighter is a ton of fun to play. I wish I had played Street Fighter since the beginning, seriously, because I, I only really started to take it not seriously in Ultra, because I was fine, like, not in high school anymore, and I could play it. So, yeah, but I think it's really hard for me to give a top 10, to be honest, because I just, like, I, I don't really have fighting games I really dislike. Like, pretty much every fighting game I've ever tried, I've enjoyed. So... When I do this grab, that means I can... Oh, it was, it's not guaranteed online. I forgot. Online, he can jump out of the setup that you're not allowed to jump out of. Damn it, I messed up. What is he doing? Okay. Okay. Who's going to be my main character in MKX, Cassie? Uh, that's that for now, anyway. That's that's who I've been meaning. But I mean, it's still day negative zero, so obviously, like who I pick is you know going to be pretty subjective. I, I don't know yet who I want to play exactly. Uh, but that's the character I'm most interested in so far. Cassie and Jackie are I really want to try. I, I really like Kung Jin. I think he's really cool too. So yeah, he's another character I'm super interested in. Can I get it? Oh, I missed it. I did that into that, yeah. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's the characters I'm really interested in. Why are you so damn cute? No homo. Thanks, man. Also, I don't feel... Oh, he's dead. Okay, let me let me just kill him and then I'll read the question. Also, I don't feel awkward at all playing stick when I play... Oh, he quit. I don't play <laughs> feel awkward at all in playing stick when I play Street Fighter K, but when I try to play, go back to MK9 in preparation of MKX, I feel so awkward. The overall feel of the game and block button makes it feel so awkward for me. Any advice? Well, if you feel comfortable playing with a certain like layout, I don't think you should switch it up. You know what I mean? If you play pad, like I know like Anton, if you guys don't know Filipino Man, he plays pad in DOA, which is like another game he's good at, but he plays stick on Street Fighter and Injustice. So if you feel comfortable playing that, then I would totally advise playing on that. But if you don't, if you want to get comfortable on stick, then I, I just say, honestly, you have to practice. Like that's all there is to it. And if you're worried about MKX, don't worry because there's no block dashing. You don't have to really get super used to that. I think that playing on stick and MKX feels pretty comfortable to me if you're wondering. And yeah, I, I mean, honestly, the only way to get used to stuff is to practice. And if you guys are wondering, this video is probably going to be about 20 minutes because I want to try to answer as many questions as I can. If there was no Batgirl, Martian, Aquaman, or Zod in Injustice. Wow, you just took out all the characters, huh? What are the characters you think would have won more tournaments in 2014 and early 2015? Uh, so there's no Batgirl, Martian, Aquaman, or Zod. So that means Bane would be a lot stronger. Flash would be a lot stronger. Um, did you not include Superman? Yeah, so Superman would be a lot stronger because you just removed all the characters who give Superman trouble. Like Martian, Aquaman, Zod are like Superman's three biggest problems. So definitely they they would be a lot better. Um let me think. Um Doomsday would be a lot better by association. So I think you would see like a lot more Bane, Doomsday. Oh what what happened? Deathstroke. You know what? I wanna give this guy the back girl. Bad girl. Like yeah, like Doomsday, Bane, um, Flash would be really a lot stronger. Superman, like pretty much every character right below them is only below them because they lose to like those characters. You know what I mean? So like that would definitely help them. Um, oh, whoops. I was on the wrong side. I hit the wrong thing. Low, low guns? I thought he was going to do low guns. Damn it. Why did he do that? Should we go low? We're gonna go low. Should we go low again? Yeah, we're gonna go low again. Is he gonna wake up again? Alright, are you gonna be switching over to MKX videos? Yes. Are you gonna be cutting the KI content? No. I'm gonna still be playing KI. 
Just because I'm playing MKX does not mean I can't play KI. I messed up. I didn't mean to do double cartwheel. Oh, I teleported too. I had to read. Uh, I like Injustice, but your skill in KI is great. Thanks, man. I'm going to definitely still be playing KI just because I'm not playing Injustice doesn't mean... Or just because I am not, I have MKX does not mean I'll play KI any less. Oh, I'm not out too far. Got him. I think. Yes. So that gives me time to read this comment. But yeah, I, I definitely will still be playing KI just because I'm not playing Injustice. I'm not going to be competing in KI anymore, I don't think. Like, not super seriously. But that doesn't mean I won't post content for the game. Oh, that clash was really unfortunate for me. Uh, hey, Sagem, what's up, homie? How's it going, man? Can you play a match of Cyborg? You want me to lose on my show? I'm doing it. But yeah, I mean, I could play Cyborg if you don't want to watch me win. He's going to jump, huh? He's like so close to Chip. Do guns. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess I could play a match of Cyborg next time if I remember. Can you complete the phrase and explain your answer if you'd like? Oh, this one we're definitely saving for the next video. This is pretty complicated stuff. Okay, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first part of our question and answers. We'll hop right back into it in the next video. I'll try to wrap all these questions up. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys again soon.